Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth, I am Sananda. Once again I can only say gratitude, gratitude for this opportunity to be here. I can tell you that right now a lot is happening on your planet, a lot of changes. Changes that you do not notice, totally etheric changes, but which are important changes for the progress of the entire process. There is nothing to fear, there is nothing to worry about, this planet will ascend. As much as some who are on its surface still insist on disrupting and reducing energy, on contaminating you with their lies, none of this changes the path of the planet anymore. Gaia is fulfilling an entire path, day after day, and automatically elevating each one of you. Don't think that you are not being prepared. Each receives the light of the central sun, each inhabitant, and this light brings awareness, brings wisdom. Only many are still very restless, maladjusted. They can see the truth, but they think and believe that it is all a result of their minds. Where does that information come from, where does that understanding come from, that comprehension of what is really there? I can tell you that many are getting carried away by this strange wisdom that is coming to them, but very silently, because apparently to them, it is evil, evil is putting things into their minds. So they would never comment to anyone because they would be branded as evil. But on the other hand they also realize that all this wisdom, everything that is coming into their mind makes sense, it seems true, it doesn't seem like a deceptive thing. So many are in doubt, whether what they are feeling, hearing and thinking is true or not. But they don't have the courage to comment, to speak, because the vast majority don't comment, they don't speak either. So, as, how can you appear in that environment where it is so important for you to be part of, with such strange ideas? Just believe that transformation is happening in everyone. And even those whose hearts cannot accommodate the light are receiving all of this, with the intention, in the desire for them to change their opinions, for them to change masters, for them to understand the harm they do to themselves, not just to the whole. This is causing a lot of uproar on the planet. The way of accepting everything that comes to mind is different for each human being. Some feel, listen and become thoughtful, introspective, cornered, apparently even sad. But deep down they are just trying to understand what is happening, and as they cannot and do not want to open up to anyone, they shrink, move away, stay away from those who could possibly explain something to them. It is their attempt to try to understand everything, not through someone else's mind, but through their own mind. Some receive all this wisdom and revolt and really believe that the evil one is inciting them to take wrong actions. What do you mean, it goes against everything I've experienced today, against everything I was taught, against everything I learned to live. This does not exist, this is not from God. And then they start an internal, powerful, and powerful fight. Because, as they learn a little more, they become revolted by what they are seeing and hearing. That's not possible, it's not from God. They keep saying it. So if you notice around you, today there are people extremely involved with religions like never before, like in a kind of fanaticism or frenzy that they have never experienced before trying to find the answer to their own statements there, that everything you learned and experienced is true. And he enters, enters, enters more and more into this underworld, in an attempt to corroborate what he believes and what he has learned. The big problem is that he finds nothing, because everything that is not true, everything that does not bring the truth, has no basis, no depth, no foundation. So he searches, 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 and does not find this foundation. And then he becomes more and more desperate, why can't I find the answer I need? Why can't I find confirmation of everything I learned? They're telling me it's a lie and why can't I find the truth, where did I learn it? And I say you won't find it, because there is no truth there, there is only manipulation and lies. So today on your planet the minds are buzzing, bubbling, with energies that are showing you the truth and energies that are making you think, stop being so manipulated. 
Some stop to think, others despair and others accept and begin a journey to go deeper and deeper into everything they are hearing and feeling in search of the truth. This will be your world very soon. It will not be a balanced planet, it will not be a balanced humanity, there will be minds of all types, there will be actions and attitudes of all types, both actions of revolt, of violence against everything that was placed and which was a pure lie, as well as actions of forgiveness and inspiration to follow a new path to follow the new world. You will watch all this, not in the middle of this confusion, you will watch from afar, far away. We have said it here several times and I would like you to understand, don't try to change anyone, don't try to teach anyone anything, now. It's not the moment. The time is for you to stay where you are, because everyone around you who does not share everything you believe and think is suffering their own internal revolution. Don't think everyone is asleep yet, because they aren't. They are being woken up a little every day, and each one is going at their own pace and in their choice of believing or thinking that everything is evil. So, it is not up to you to try to make these people believe anything, because they will have to discover for themselves, every point that they are starting to see as true. They will seek the truth, they will seek the way. And by a strange coincidence, when seeking this path, they will come to you, and many of them will come very humble, just saying, I'm sorry for everything I accused you of, forgive me for what I said to you. Today I see that I was wrong. And you will be able to exchange a long hug, you, forgiving everything that was said and that you felt, and that hurt you so much, and simply, opening your heart to receive that brother or sister, with lots of love. But this is also not the time from now on for you to open your mouth and start talking indiscriminately. Understand, that hug sealed complicity, that hug sealed trust. So keep your mouth shut still, let the one who arrived and who now has a bond of trust with you, continue searching, continue trying to find your way. And there you are, with a look saying, I'm here, whatever you need, I'm here. Giving the confidence and support that brother or sister will need to find their way. If at any point on that walk, he stops and asks you something, then yes, you will be able to answer what was asked. It's also not about opening your mouth and wanting to preach. Answer what is asked. And in this way, that brother or sister will gain more and more confidence in you and will know that at every doubt along the way, at every rock, they will be able to find help advice, an explanation. This will be your role. You are not pillars of light to stand high on a pedestal, preaching to the population. Don't repeat the mistakes from before. Don't try to impose anything on anyone's mind. Walking is solitary, it belongs to each person. Each one will learn, each one will attract knowledge in their own time and in their own way. You cannot influence anything. The role is to continue being a pillar of light, so that everyone can see where you are, and can, in that moment of doubt, of despair, go there and find a friendly shoulder, a friendly word, an explanation. Only that. And you continue to be pillars of light, without guiding, without manipulating, without involving, without inducing anyone into anything. This role was the role of their religions. Don't repeat. The great shepherd of this whole process is Father or Mother God, he is the great shepherd of these sheep that are arriving. It is trust in Father or Mother God that will lead each one to the right path, not you, not your words. Everyone will find their path according to their mind, according to their soul journey. And then little by little, many will reach your level, in knowledge, in belief and in energy, all on their own, without any of you giving advice or guidance. And then this great army of pillars of light will be able to join them, because they got there at that point on their own, by their own desire, by their own merit and wisdom. Then yes, you will unite into a large and wonderful group and will be ready for ascension. Being a pillar of light is not preaching, it is not thinking you have the truth in your mouth, being a pillar of light is just being there to help, to lend a hand, for a hug, 
for a friendly word and to answer a question, not to preach. Being a pillar of light is not being a shepherd, this is what your religions preach, it cannot be like that anymore. Everyone who is on this planet right now needs to find their own pastor, but not an external pastor. Everyone on this planet needs to find their own shepherd, but not a living shepherd, they need to find their own shepherd from his heart, which can be father or mother God or any other being of light he chooses, not human shepherds. So do not want to be, or have, this role, just be pillars of light. A point of support, a point of reference, a point of light. This is how each one of you, who becomes a pillar of light, will propagate the energy of light on this planet. With help, with love, with solidarity, just showing yourself exactly as a pillar of light.